Do you know DNA the genetic material of us can be as long as height of a human it can be around 6 feet or 2 meter but it fits inside the microscopic cell this 2 meter long dna can fit inside a microscopic cell which we can't even see in naked eyes the dna remains in the nucleus of each cell of our body but how is that possible let's find out it is possible because of the super coiling of dna thread and it starts with the coiling in the protein and these proteins are called histone proteins the dna strand wraps around these bunch of proteins so let's learn about the histone proteins there are five types of histone proteins involved h1 h2a h2b h3 and h4 and except the h1 all of them the all of four contribute in the formation of octamer octamer is eight that's why we need two of each now how they are situated in the octamer each protein remains diagonally opposite of a square plane now when it forms an octamer each proteins remain at the corners of the cube if we see from the upper side it goes anti clockwise and if we see from the downwards it goes clockwise just like this and forming the octamer the histone octamer h to b diagonally positioned in the same plane and all of them similarly this is the histone octamer the dna thread wraps around the histone octamer it goes one and a 3/4th round of the histone octamer and this structure is called nucleosome nucleosome is equal to the dna thread plus the histone octamer the h1 protein that is h1 histone protein clips the dna to the histone octamer and there are lot more histone octamers present the dna which links two octamers are is called the linker dna which is made up of 54 base pairs and all of them together nucleosome h1 and linker dna are called chromatosome now after wrapping up there are lot more histone octamers the dna thread keeps wrapping around the histone octamers and the h1 proteins clips the dna to the octamer forming a structure like beads and this is called the bead like structure of nucleosomes as it continues the h1 proteins of different octamers can combine with each other and form the histone protein polymer attaching few histone octamers into a loop this is the histone protein polymer because of this polymerization a loop like structure forms which contains 
the bead like structures which are connected by the histone protein polymer and it goes on the loop structure goes on and forms a ring like structure or a spring like structure this kind of structure is also called the solenoid structure it is the second level of coiling it contains the histone octamers and also looks like loops this particular structure is called the solenoid structure this solenoid structure continues in some regions of these there are found 8 at rich region at base pair rich regions this regions helps in the attachment to the scaffold protein the scaffold proteins are present in the nucleus the nucleus matrix of cell and the at rich regions are called scaffold attachment region as the dna thread attaches to the scaffold protein it goes on more coiling inside the nucleus by this super coiling around the scaffold protein it somehow forms a structure like this and this structure is called chromosome these chromosomes are contained inside the nucleus of each cell of our body